Let's have a look at this example from section 2.2. It's exercise 17. And this exercise asks us to take two statements and write them symbolically compare their truth table. So we've got if 2 is a factor of n and 3 is a factor of n, then 6 is a factor of n as the first statement, and then 2 is not a factor of n, or 3 is not a factor of n, or 6 is a factor of n. So if we name some variables, let's call p 2 is a factor of n, we'll call q 3 is a factor of n, and we'll call r 6 is a factor of n, then those two given statements can be written out symbolically in the following way, p and if p and q then r, and not p or not q or r. Okay. Um, let me just note for the first of those two, I put in the parentheses even though they're strictly not necessary because of order of operations, but um, sometimes you might want to include parentheses even if you don't truly need them, um, just for emphasis or to uh, just make it less likely that there's um, any potential for ambiguity. Okay, let's look at the truth table for the first statement form. We've got our eight rows because of the three variables. Notice that intermediate column of P and Q. That's going to help us make sure we get that last column correct. Um, and, and we see that the last column has trues in all rows except for the second row. Okay, and I'll remind you that with a conditional statement, you only get false if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. So that's um, only the case in that second um, row. Okay, and now we're trying to compare this to another statement form and we're looking for logical equivalence. So remember that means we're trying to see, do all the truth values match? Okay, so let's remember, we've got false in the second row, everything else true. So here's the truth table for the second of those uh, two statement forms. And sure enough, and when we complete that truth table, we get false in the second row. All the others are true, so that does match, which indicates that our two statement forms are in fact logically equivalent. Okay, so truth tables show that the truth values for the statement forms are always the same, therefore these statements are logically equivalent. And we can write that out symbolically with that symbol indicating logical equivalence in between those two statement forms. Okay, so that's an exercise from section 2.2. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video.